Kya Mat Kya Hai. Today we're going to talk about non-constructive proofs. So first off, a constructive proof is one in which we have an algorithm or a way to produce a number which satisfies whatever statements we have. And a non-constructive proof is, as you guessed, the opposite. A non-constructive proof involves us just proving something without actually giving a proper example or making a, a way to produce such examples. In fact, in fact, over here I have an example of a non-constructive proof. The question is, prove that there exists two irrational numbers, a, b, such that a raised to b is a rational number. So let's go back to our old friend, the square root of 2, which as we know is irrational. So square root of 2, a is the square root of 2, and now b is the square root of 2 raised to the square root of 2. Now for a we know that this guy is definitely, let me write that in a different color, uh, this guy is irrational. But as for b, this guy can be one of two things. Case one, it's irrational. And case two, it's rational. Okay, so in the first case, if it's irrational, uh, we simply have b raised to a, which is the square root of 2 raised to the square root of 2 and the whole thing raised to the square root of 2. And by the laws of indices, this is just the square root of 2 raised to root 2 times root 2, which is in fact root 2 square. And this is 2. And 2, as we all know it, this is a rational number. So b is irrational, a is irrational, and the b raised to a is rational. So for case 1, everything's fine. For the second case, we have b equals root 2 raised to root 2. Now, let's suppose that, just to make things a bit clearer, let's suppose this is not b. Let's just call it some other, some other variable, some other uh, constant. Say it's y. So now we have a equals root 2, b equals root 2, and we have y equals a raised to b and a is irrational, b is irrational, and by assumption y is rational. And the reason this is a non-constructive non proof is because we don't know if this guy is irrational or rational. Anyway, that was the video, and I hope you learned something new today. Have a nice day.